Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have a Archvis video for you guys. So in the first part of this video, we are going to assemble this scene inside Unreal Engine 5. And in the second part of the video, we are going to light this scene. So when it comes to lighting, we are going to use lumen. So no baking of lights or anything. We are going to use dynamic lights for this. And if you watch this video, I feel like you'll get a lot of insight on lighting and uh, how to like light indoor environments. So before I start with the video, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. So to start, I have created an empty project and an empty level. So I have nothing in the scene. So let's start by going here and changing the mode from lit to unlit. After that, you can press control space to bring up the content browser and you have created some blueprints. And for this video, I'm going to use this asset pack. So this is a free asset pack available on the Epic Games Store. So I've gone ahead and I've created these blueprints. So as you can see, this is the house blueprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this house blueprint from the content browser in the scene. So we have the house right there. We have some additional blueprints right here. So these are some table and chair blueprints. So I'm going to add this in the scene. So now we are going to go ahead and assemble the whole scene. So you can go to the top view. And this will give you a top projection of your environment. After that, you can go to wireframe view and it's easier this way to like position these tables. So you can press control D and you can duplicate this table and move it right here. And you can start placing more assets in the scene. So once you are happy with the layout of the scene, you can turn on the unlit mode and you can go back to the perspective mode. Now I'm going to place some props in the scene. So I have this painting right here and I'm going to add this painting in the scene like that, rotate it 90 degrees. Similarly, I'm going to place this asset right here. Next, we are going to add some lamps in the scene. So these are some wall mounted lamps. And to position these lamps, you can go in the top view. You can turn on the wireframe mode and just duplicate these lamps. So once you are happy with the scene, select all of those assets in the world outliner and you can add them into a new folder. So that's going to keep things organized. So now our scene has been created. So let's add some lights in the scene. So for lighting, you can go back in the lit mode. And as you can see, everything is totally black. So we have nothing in the scene. So to start, we are going to go right here and we are going to add a direction light. So this direction light is basically your sunlight. Select the direction light and you can change it to movable. Search for atmosphere. Turn on these atmosphere options. After that, you can add a skylight in your scene. So the skylight basically contributes to the global illumination in your scene. So let's add that as well. Let's change it to movable. Turn on real time capture. You can change the cube map resolution to 5 and 2. After the skylight, we are going to go to visual effects and we are going to add a sky atmosphere. And the moment you add the sky atmosphere object, you will see that your screen slightly brightens up. So we are getting some lighting in the scene. And after the sky atmosphere, I'm going to add an exponential height fog in my scene. In the fog, you can turn on volumetric fog. And I'm going to reduce the fog density a bit. Now, if you zoom out from the scene, 
you can see that we have a sky atmosphere we have the sun right there and the sun is currently facing in the wrong direction so we want the sun to face in the direction of these windows so to rotate the sun you can press ctrl l and while still holding down ctrl you can move the mouse to rotate the sun so just rotate the sun somewhat like this now if you go back in the scene you can see that we have some lighting going on so down in the ground here and on the chairs and the tables you can see that our global illumination is not calculating properly we are getting some lighting but the reflection and the global illumination is totally off so to fix this you can go to the visual effects panel and you can add a post process volume select the post process volume search for infinite extents and turn this on after that's on search for lumen and we have global illumination and reflections so lumen is the new lighting system in unreal engine 5 and that is responsible for reflections and uh, indirect lighting so let's take a look at global illumination first so if you turn this on you can see that your scene totally changes in appearance like it totally changes down here we have some global illumination settings so i'm going to recommend that you double these settings and that will give you a good a balance between performance and quality under the advanced global illumination settings you can leave them as it is or you can slightly increase them after that we have reflections so if you turn on reflections you can see that your scene again totally changes and now we are getting a very realistic look so you can move your light again by ctrl l so the global illumination and the reflections are calculating properly and overall this scene looks pretty good next i'm going to show you how to add emissive materials in your scene so with unreal engine 5 and with lumen we get emissive lighting so emissive materials now emit light so let me show you how to quickly create an emissive material so let's add a sphere here and we are going to create an emissive material so create a new material rename this to whatever you like assign the material to the sphere and open up this material we only need the emissive color so change the shading mode to unlit and i'm going to add a vector 4 right here and this is going to hold a color so you can change the color to whatever you like so now we have a blue colored emissive material to change the intensity of this i'm going to multiply this with the scalar parameter and this will be called the intensity of the material you can change this to one if you go back in the scene you will see that this object is emitting light so before we had to like add additional lights to emissive objects because emissive objects didn't emit light but now you don't have to do that so i wanted to show you the whole process of assembling a scene and then lighting a scene in unreal 5 i hope you learned something in this video if you did please leave a like down below also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that's it i'm going to see you in the next video